Hi everyone, my name is Daniela and I'm with Miss Millennium Magazine. Today we're going to talk about what it takes to own a dog and tips that I have before deciding you want to take on that kind of responsibility. So first thing you need to know is that dogs take up a lot of time and energy. So if you live alone and you work 24 seven, then you're not going to have the time to take care of a dog. And it's not fair for the potential dog um, to be home alone, being bored and not being taken care of properly. Having said that, if you do live alone and you're at work, but you really want the companionship of a dog, um, hire a dog walker and make sure that they come at least twice a day to take care of your dog and walk them, feed them, take care of them, give them infection, and that way they won't go crazy when you're gone. Now the second thing you, sh you should know is that you need to choose a dog based on your living space. If you have a small apartment, then you should only have a small dog. If you have a big dog in a small apartment, they're going to get bored and they're going to chew on things or they're going to destroy the house. So having said that, if you have a really, really big space, then a big dog would be perfect. They have a big place to roam around. If you have a big out, you know, big outdoor or a big yard, that's perfect for the dog to you know, run around and play. The third thing you should know is deciding when you should buy or when you should adopt. When you buy a dog, they're usually puppy. And so when you buy a puppy, you have to realize that you have to be home for a while, for a few days to make sure that they're not chewing on everything. They're not going to the bathroom wherever they want. You really have to take some time to actually train them. It's a 24 seven job, 24 seven hour job to make sure that they're okay. And if you don't have that time or that kind of money um, to put them in an obedience class, then you should consider adopting a, a grown dog, an adult dog. Usually at a rescue or shelter, they're already housebroken and they're already tested um, with other dogs to make sure that they're not aggressive. You could just adopt the dog and they're already ready to go. My fourth tip is that health insurance is very important. It'll make your life easier when you have to um, vaccinate your dog or spray and neuter them or take them for routine checkups. Um, just makes your life easier. So I do have one bonus tip you should know. Uh, Dolly, come here. Oh, good girl. This is Dolly, and as you can see, she's got some pit bull in her. Um, but when we rescued from her for the shelter, we actually asked um, to see her test results. And so you can ask to make sure that they pass their potty training tests and their dog training tests to make sure that they're not aggressive when other dogs come into contact with them and their personality traits. So just make sure you see those documents first so you're not adopting a crazy aggressive dog and you don't know what you're getting into. That's all I have to say about dogs in general. Uh, owning one is a great responsibility, but it's also really rewarding. Just make sure that you're ready for it. Visit MissMelMag.com and uh, check out more websites about dogs. I'll leave a link and uh, show you what it's like. Have a wonderful day, guys. Bye.